General, this mirror isn't working. Sir, that's a painting. <laughs> but it... No time to explain, sir. I have an urgent call for you on the satellite video link. It's, uh, Saddam Hussein. Ah. Ah, Mr. Bush. So you want to bomb old Saddam, eh? Uh. Fair enough. But would you want to bomb Tiddle? Yeah. <gasps> all fluffy, all stuffy. Yes, gentlemen, from now on, myself and all military targets will be protected by a kitten shield. Won't they? Yes, they will. Yes, they will. <laughs> anyway, end transmission. <laughs> can I have one? General, can I? I gotta have one of those cute furry things. If you insist, sir. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, but I don't look no different. Oh, Harry Moses! It's so depressing. Can't one trust a single member of the royal household? I know, Mater. One can't have a private conversation without it somehow ending up in the papers. <laughs> so anyway, I go into the sauna and there's Philip, Ulrika, and Michael Barrymore. I mean, I didn't know you could do that with a whisk. No, you can. Oh, is all this really necessary, David? Uh, yeah, I'm not taking no chances. It's to protect us all. Oh, nice one, Dad. <laughs> My fellow TV executives, I know it's only half past four and I'm sorry to cut short your lunch, but this is a crisis. Barrymore, Deaton, Leslie, our presenters have let us down, mm. but the solution is at hand. I give you the perfect television personality. Robo Celeb. I am Robo Celeb. I love my wife. I hate cocaine. I do not have a swimming pool. Oh, yes. I mean, the moral standards of television are safe once more. This calls for a celebration. <sighs> all right, all right, all right. Is this all I do? It is. All right, all right, all right, all right. Welcome to this morning, and hello to students, unemployed people, and John Leslie. <laughs> hello, and welcome to scripted smart ass remark performed as ad lib. <laughs> Allegedly. He's even stiffer than Angus. Hmm, they're not in the trouser department. Allegedly. <laughs> oh. This guy's fantastic! Yeah, it's the future! Brilliant. Oh, uh, 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 oh no! Uh. The only ones who didn't see that coming. And at the end of that floor, I've got another 15 to do. Controversial. Don't worry, madam. We'll have tittles down in a jiffy. <coughs> right. I understand your daughter's got her toe stuck in a tap. Oh, well, let's face it, we're an obvious target. They could attack at any moment. We're doomed. Calm down, everyone. It's absolutely vital that at this time of terrorist threat, we, the Cabinet, show the public that we are not going to panic. I'll drink to that. <laughs> Gas attack! <laughs> oh! Emergency procedure initiated. Commencing operation, I'm all right, Jack. <laughs> Oh. Voila! No terrorist can get us down here. Oh, nice one, Tone! There's enough food here to last us, well, till lunchtime! And look, we've even got beds. Four! Oh. Bags in the top bunk! Ooh. And the bottom bunk! Ooh. But, Tony, what about the outside world? Don't worry. This special hotline allows us to control events on the surface. Six votes for Les Dennis. And one for Melinda Messenger. Michael Jackson's Parenting Tips, number 43. It's important to encourage your children to take their first steps. Come to Daddy, Prince Michael II. Oh. I don't see any moonwalking. Oh, that's my boy. And I got the receipt to prove it. <laughs> yeah, like, because like, we called our place Beckingham Palace after your place, Buckingham Palace. Hmm. 
Well, feck off back there, then. Ah, here come the Kents. Here, psst. Mo, I've got something you might be interested in. What you got, dodgy gear? Shh, not so loud. Why, is he nicked? What's that little thief Billy Mitchell trying to flog ya? Stop shouting. Why is it we're not supposed to shout about? Billy's offloading some dodgy gear. Dodgy gear? Shh. Well, what two of you shut up? I can't hear myself shout. Shut it. Shut it yourself. Shut it, the pair of you. Ah! <coughs> what you selling anyway? Um, megaphones. Oh, I could do with one of these. Now, how do I turn it on? So, what have you been doing today, Jerry? <gasps> oh, you never. <gasps> what the? Oh, take cover. Ow. Right, that's it, Elton. What? <laughs> oh, look at that. Come with us. Twenty-five R. Oh. Ah! Oh. 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 See, you've got to lose some weight. Okay, maybe just a pound or two. Oh. Bloody floors! Time for the Halliwell plan. Blimey, this is hard. <laughs> Bad Elton, no! <laughs> oh! Ooh, Bad Elton, <laughs> no! Oh. Elton, stop eating the calendar. I'm sorry. Ta da! It worked. Don't I look fabulous, guys? Guys? Oh, well, so three months ago, Elton. Mm, don't you know anything? Fat is the new thing. Now that's a bargain. Cheap as chips. Mr. Dickinson, it's time for your makeup. Thanks very much. <laughs> very funny, guys, but I'm not made of wood. <laughs> How about we give the fireman 15% over two years? How about 2% over 15 years? Actually, I think we should give them whatever they're chuffing want. Uh -huh. What? Provided they come back to work immediately. Like right bloody now! Oh, my oh not again, John. What? I was hungry. It's all right, team. I'll handle this. Hi, God. It's Tony. All praise to the Almighty One. It wasn't just me. I mean, God helped a bit. On second thoughts, give the fireman 40%, you insufferable little squirt. Not smallow, anyone? Whose share is it? Mine! Oh, oh. You're barred. Will you please state your nominations? Yes, I, I want to evict myself. I, I'm fed up with the lot of them. Send me back to the battery farm, please. Rip out my giblets and roast me. Anything's better than this. Also, I'm a bit worried that Neil Morris is shagging me missus. 
The ITV News at 10 with Anton Deck. ITV denies accusations of dumb and down. Bongaroonie! And gets surprise slap on head, eh? slap a And former newscaster evicted by phone vote. News just in, I am hungry and homeless. tramp And now, the weather. And now, the weather. Hello. And here's tomorrow's weather. Well, it's going to be nice and sunny, if you phone this number. But if you'd like cloudy conditions with a stiff northeasterly breeze, ring this number. Or if you'd prefer relentless, drizzly rain, move to Wales. Good night. So, what would Sir like? A little bit off the top and a shave aside. Certainly, Sir. Oh, hey. Oh, very funny, guys, but I'm not made of wood. You're older than I thought. Mm. So, as you can see, Mr. Inspector, we have no weapons of mass destruction here at all. Huh? Moving on. Morning, ladies. Have fun at the shops, Marjorie. Over here, more no weapons. So everything is okay. Oh, oh, ah. Um, how would you like an extremely large sum of money? And some new pants. Good news, sir. Iraq seems to be cooperating fully with the UN inspectors. Looks like an all-out conflict can be avoided. Oh, nuts. Sir? I want a war! I want a war! I want a war! All the other presidents have had wars. Well, you've only just had a war, sir, and you didn't even finish that one. Well, I'm gonna hold my breath until you let me have another one. <gasps> oh, now, sir... Oh, I think I better fetch Professor Liebstrom. Hello! <laughs> Professor Liebstrom! Yeah! I know! Instead of having a war, huh? why don't we have an ice cream? Yeah, an ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> With chocolate sauce. Oh, yeah! And a war. No! Sir, nobody else wants a war, except perhaps Britain. Hey, let's have a war with Britain then. Oh, <laughs> Harry <laughs> Moses! <laughs> No! No! Go on then, John. Go and scare the voter. But it's not my job to scare voters, Tone. It's my job to run the country if anything happens to you. <laughs> no, no, don't scare me. Scare the voter into voting for us. OK, I'll do me best. Ahem! Huh? Evening, love. <clears throat> if the Tories get in, bad things will happen. Probably. The William Hague. Oh no, he's gone, isn't he? Uh, what's his name? The new bloke. Uh, uh... <laughs> oh, it's not working, Tone. She's not scared. <laughs> Evening, lads. Oh, well, hello. <laughs> Oh, you're good. Open an account with us, he said. Why, I said. Because we have over 170 local branches, he said. That's good, I said. Would you be closed down, he said. No shit, I said. But we do have cash points, he said. That's really if I said. Nearest one's 20 miles away, he said. I can't repeat what I said. Whee! Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Oh, yes. <clears throat> Grr, baby. Let's get back to basics. Oh, behave. Do I make you horny? Call my shag hotline. Wow. Edwina Humperlot. 
How do you like your eggs in the morning, baby? Without some vanilla. Right. <coughs> Talk about a red hot curry. <laughs> Edwina? No, I am the Minister of Evil, and I'm going to sell my evil diaries for one million dollars. Oh, no. This is all your fault, very mini-me. Well, it looks like a beautiful piece, but a closer inspection reveals it's riddled with woodwork. Eh? Oh. Oh, very funny, guys, but I'm not made of wood. Oh, oh, it's all going wrong, Tony. Massive borrowing, strikes, militant union leaders. No, we are not giving in, Gordon. We are not going back to the 70s. Yeah, you're right. Absolutely. Groovy. Fab. You're the one cool cat, Tony. Let's boogie. Staying in power, staying in power, ha 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 ha. Staying in power, staying in power. Get us a can of coke, mom. Hey, don't speak to your mother like that. Sorry, dad. Get us a fucking can of fucking coke, you. Bitch! That's better, you little f. Oh. Sexy. Here, Rod, are you looking at my bird? Your bird? She's mine. Look at her. Blonde, young, stupid, she must be. Here, hold up. Stringy will know. Hey, hey. Which one of us is shagging this chick? Oh, me, obviously. We've been having a long-term relationship since Tuesday, haven't we? Whoa, hang on, lads. Long blonde hair hangs out in tacky nightclubs, shags anyone. You're Peter Stringfellow, aren't you? Aye. Now, what are you doing with my woman? Oh, oh yeah. I'm gone. And at the end of that round of drinks, I'd like to say I've never met her before in my life, and I'll sue anyone who says I did, allegedly. Uh. Unless, of course, you've got photos, in which case, let's talk. So, come on, whose bird is she? Well, it's well, mine, isn't mine. she? Mine. No, mine, I definitely recognise her. Dad. I uh. Can we go now? Here, are you looking at my daughter? Daughter? She's, She's far, far too, too old for us. us. Hey, Mick, has your daughter got a daughter? Hmm? Once upon a time, there was an ugly duckling. All the other ducks laughed at him and were cruel to him. But much later, they wished they hadn't been mean, because the ugly duckling turned into Rio Ferdinand. He's still got the big bag. Big bag! Big bag! Big bag! <laughs> My random acts of terrorism are bringing the world to its knees. Now, where shall we strike next? Here. Got it, boss! On our way! <laughs> Bad luck, people of Bin Laden's secret hideout. Jalal, get your ass over here. Why? Because that's where your legs are. Ooh. 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 
I'm rich, rich beyond measure. I know you are, Charles, but now we're here. Let's go and do some gambling. No, I brought you to Las Vegas to get married. I've told you already. I'll only marry you when you're a king. <laughs> eh? See, at last I'm the king. <laughs> Warren speaking, how can I help you? One marriage, please. Is that a happy marriage? Yes, please. Do you want kids with that? Uh, no, thank you. I now pronounce you man and wife. Have a nice, happiest day of your life. <laughs> well, it was a lot less tacky than my first wedding. Dad, I need $50,000 for a new car, uh -huh. like now. F me, I don't keep that kind of cash on me. Oh, oh, hang, hang on a minute. Thanks for that. Oi! Oh. All right, everyone, sit down. John, I didn't say Tony says sit down. Oh, oh, no, not again. I'll never get the hang of this game. Tony says hop on one leg. Okay. Tony says sing She'll Be Coming Round the Mountain. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. When she comes, she'll be coming round the mountain. Oh, I'm bored of this. I'm resigning. Take over, Gordon. Oh, right. Uh, absolutely. Now, look here. Uh, I didn't say Tony says, Gordon. <laughs> oh, now who's the lummox, eh? Tony says, be quiet. Um, actually, it's a bad time. I'd really rather not, OK? Um, she'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. <laughs> George says, do it again with your pants on your head. <laughs> so, as you can see, we have definitely never, ever experimented with chemical or nuclear weapons. So bye then, Mr. Inspectors. Thanks for coming. Oh, Gobbin! Oh, no, not another trophy. Have you got any room on your wall, sweetheart? Well, I suppose I could squeeze it in somewhere. Hmm. Hmm. Who is that, anyway? It's my great-granddad, Algernon Beckham. Wow. I wonder what life was like in his day. Oh, oh, David, I think I'm having one of my dizzy spells. That's oh, a flashback, silly. It's 1912, the year Britain fell in love with Algernon Beckham and his lovely wife, Lady Posh. As England football captain, Algernon trains flat out. and is so popular, his distinctive look is copied in every playground in the land. Lady Posh isn't idle either. Right now, she's busy rehearsing her new music hall hit. They live with her lovely two children and a full-time governess. and their faithful butler, Neville. That's no job for a lady. That's a job for a child. Meanwhile, Algy and the England chaps are off to win the World Cup. And it's a tough group, too. Hang on, chaps. Don't forget your standard issue, good old-fashioned brown leather football. Here, Abel Simon Simon, catch! Oh, <laughs> looks like an early bath. I don't care what the critics say. The Tory party has never been in better shape. Yes, onwards and upwards. Exactly. There's no way we're going to disappear. We've got big ideas, big support and a big future. That's right. <laughs> oh, buggeration! I've just trodden in a shadow cabinet. I'll just wipe it off on this turd. Jerry's yoga positions, number 37. No eating. 
skinny, hungry, skinny, hungry, skinny. <laughs> I'd like to see those terrorists try and attack the White House now, General. So it's the old decoy trick, sir. <laughs> you got it, General. Very good, sir, but how do you know which is the real White House? It's okay. I thought of that, too. What are the chances of that? Oh, God, Trini. Trini, look at this. She's wearing a black burqa. That's so last year, Susanna. Try this. You see, it's a whole new you. You've got lovely eyes. Make the most of them. Ooh. God, Yuri, you're good. I knew I was going to say that. Uncanny. Time for supper. I know I was going to say that too. Uncanny. Huh? 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 No, 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 no. Get him! Didn't predict this, did you? You spoon-bending bastard! Ah, hey, hey! Oh, oh, thank God, my wife! Ah. Aha! No! <laughs> this is Yuri. Leave a message, although I know what it is going to be. Hi, Yuri. Uh, it's Tony Blackburn here. Uh, getting the celebrities back together. Thought we might come and stay yours for a couple of months. No! Kill me now! <laughs> the truth is. We do have conclusive proof that Saddam has weapons of mass destruction. And here it is. We kept the invoice. And if he doesn't pay up soon, he's not getting any more. Thank God you're here, Doctor! What's the problem, Mo? It's Charlie. He says he's got a headache! Ain't that right, Dad? He was fine until he got home! I see. Take two of these and pop them in your ears. Is that better, Dad? Much better. Eh, hey, Doc, there's something wrong with me and all. Hmm? I totally lost me voice. Yeah, yeah me, me too. too. Oh. Bloody fireman. If they won't do it, I'll do it with Chuff himself. I mean, how hard can it be? Geronimo! Oh! What? Oh! Now don't panic, big fella. There must be a way out of this. Oh. Here we are, sir. Your brand new White House. All finished. Not quite. Huh? Yeah, this will fool him for sure. <laughs> oh, Harry Moses. That morning on the train, I was called to the restaurant car, where there had been a murder. Oh, Monsieur Poirot, thank God you're here. Mr. Branson has been beaten to death with his own train timetable. Right. No one is going anywhere. We bloody know! Madame, I have to ask you, where were you at ten o'clock last night? I was here. We all bloody were! And you, sir? What were you doing? I was fast asleep. And you are? The driver. Hmm. I have narrowed down the suspects, and it is... Anyone who's ever been on a virgin train. Ha! Fooled you. Uh, I'm not really dead. It was just one of my great publicity stunts to launch virgin undertakers. Wow! Look at the speed of that thing! I bought Percy Pepper to Sammy Spine to sample the Freddy food. Ooh, so what's good? We have sardines in oil. Seagull in oil. <laughs> Angry chef in oil. Idiot of Petrolero! And of course, lovely Spanish beach in oil. 
Uh, you got anything that's not in oil? We have Greek captain in deep shit. Oh, what do you like? So, David, perhaps you'd like to explain this to me. Uh, well, it's called a newspaper. Oh. It's full of news. Oh, now explain this. That's food. People eat it. Ugh. Fernando, bring the limo round to the front, please. Take me to the pool, Fernando. Si, senor. No, don't get out, senor. Not now. I don't believe it! Fernando! Get back here! I wanted to go to the shallow end! Si, senor. Oh! This is a chuffing disaster! I've missed me dinner! Oh. Tony, darling, I know I've been a gullible fool, but now we can put this whole sorry mess behind us. I've sold the flats in Bristol. Marvellous. How much did we get for them? Three beans. Uh, uh, what? But not just any old beans. These are magic beans. Magic beans? You ninny, we are not living in Panto land. Fee, fi, fo, fum! I smell the blood of a black pudding. Any chance? No? Toast? Oh, beans, magic. Oh, oh. oh tasty. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> hey, up, a golden goose. <laughs> oh. Mm. oh, tasty. Hey, kid. how did it go at the dentist's? Not bad, you know what I mean? I've got two brand new teeth, haven't I? Uh... Hey, you're not from round here, are you? Uh, no, I'm new. You soft southern twat. Don't hurt us. <laughs> oh. <gasps> oh, you teeth pack it in. Oh. You tell him, I can. <laughs> Neil, has that naughty little man got a camera? Crikey, Christine, it must be paparazzi, but, uh, but I don't think he spotted us. Cooey! Over here! Mr Paparazzi! It's us! It's us, the Celebrity Hamiltons! Uh, leave me alone! Oh, come on, old chap. One little photo won't hurt. It's my day off! Snap a doodle doo. Uh, get a picture of the old king of the jungle here. I'll eat bugs if you take my picture. It's not me, Tora. I'm rich and bonkers. <laughs> Stop harassing me! Oh, just one picture. Over here! Over here! Stop respecting my privacy! Faster, Neil! Step on it! Jeez. Do you want one with my top off? Uh. <laughs> now I want a snowball fight! Sir, it's way past your nap time. But I want a snowball fight! <laughs> no, sir! No, please! You're not playing. Throw one back! Okay, sir, just the one. <laughs> <laughs> You've done it now, General. That was an unprovoked attack. You leave me with no other option. Oh, Harry Moses. Gotcha! <laughs> <laughs> Friendly fire! See you in the spring, sir. Oh. Bruce, I think Skippy's trying to tell us something. Yeah? What is it, Skip? There's a fire. All right, Baldy. We want to become Trappist monks. Yeah, we've had enough.
enough of the square. We want some peace. And quiet. And silent contemplation. Yes, some of that and all. Peace, peace quiet, and, and silent, silent contemplation. contemplation. Shut up! Oh! No, my vow of silence. Oh, at least I've kept my vow of chastity. Oi, oi, fancy a bunk up. Go on, then. And finally, we come to Great Ceremonial Portrait Gallery, number 15. Notice the exquisite lack of weapons. Mm. So, that concludes our tour of the historic presidential palace. Mm. Don't forget to visit the gift shop on your way out. Sorry, we don't have any weapons of mass destruction, obviously. But these no-snow shakers are very popular. Or the key ring, bookmark, pencil sharpener. Bye then. Phew, thank God that's over. Destroy the West! Destroy the West! What are the chances of you not mentioning this to anyone? Pretty damn good, I should say! <laughs> it's nearly three in the morning as we await for the badger to emerge. And here it is. This notoriously shy creature. <laughs> Is this more convincing? <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Uh, Jagger. Nice one. Can I see your backstage pass, please, sir? I'm Keith fucking Richards, man. I'm sorry, I still need to see some ID. It. Death certificate, do. <laughs> it's day 283, and the ex Big Brother contestant is getting on with today's task. Stuck on the shelves in the local spa. Oh my god! Reality's nothing like this on TV. Would Jade please go to check out number six? The one after five. Mm. No, that's an eight. Left a bit. Mm. No, that's right. Mm. Keep going. Mind the cans. Oh my god! Helen to the bike bean section, please. Okay, team. We're facing a very real threat of a smallpox attack, so it's vital we immunize key personnel. Good Aye. idea. Uh, 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 uh. Thank you, nurse. That'll be all. What? Oh! Has she done it yet? Uh. Ta-da! Ready! Nice wetsuit, Lawrence. I've always wanted to do a nature show. What's it called again? Swimming with dolphins? Swimming with turtles? Uh, yeah, so, something like that, yeah. Now, let's just put on your uh, special air tanks. Right. And uh, on with the flippers. Oh, how baroque. All right, Lawrence, when you're ready... Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Swimming with piranhas it is, then. Your Royal Highness, I'm Andrew Marr from the BBC, here to interview you about your political opinions. Oh, ha, ha, yes, very funny. I'm sorry? Very drill. Come on, take them off. What? Those big comedy ears. Come on. <laughs> what? Ow! Oh, oh. Great heavens, they're actually real. Yes. <laughs> big ears, big ears. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. Hmm. Oh. Oh. I'll get it, Victoria. single form posh spice. Uh, traffic and travel here on Peckham FM. 
Avoid the upstairs hall as a bit of a tailback as Brooklyn's toy truck has spilled its load. Oh dear. Oh, thanks, Phil. Anytime, David. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, Mr. Beckham. Yeah? We're here to build the extension. Oh, great. It's been getting ever so cramped, what with the new baby and all. Yeah, I can imagine. Sir, are you all right? Uh -huh. Mr. President! Uh, 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 slam dunk! Huh? <laughs> oh. Great to see you, too. Let me introduce you to my girlfriend, Chewbacca. This is, uh... Too little. So tonight we're talking about politics. Have people lost interest? Um, yes, you, you, madam, la lady there in, in the green blouse. Yes, yes, you, madam, surrounded by the empty chairs. Is this a recording of Pop Rivals? No, it isn't. Is it not? Oh, bugger this, I'm off. Now, only Roy keen to beat. Go on, Roy. Get him. Kick him in the knee. Slice him down. You know you want to. Oh, no. I'm not listening to you anymore. Kill him, Roy. Destroy him. Rip his head off and shove it up his bollocks. You're right. <laughs> no need to retaliate, Michael. Absolutely. Let's buy him some flowers. <laughs> oh, nuts! I couldn't agree more, sir. So, Mr. Bushy, in conclusion, yes, we have no weapons. We have no weapons today! <laughs> Stab, please. Right, just pop it in the post. Airmail, of course. Will you accept a long distance call? Of course. Fernando, it's me. I've sold all my clothes to raise money for charity. So we're going shopping. Si, senor. Take me to an enormous clothes shop. <laughs> Perfecto mundo. <laughs> oh, now what have we here? It's smart, it's elegant, it's understated. So you can keep that. But I'll have everything else! <laughs> ah! Oh, Fernando, I'll be another ten minutes. Si, senor. Just going to get me hair done. Grumble, grumble. Moan, moan, moan. Wallop, slap it, punch. Sub, sub, sub. Boo hoo. Oink. Shouty, shouty. Kiss, grope, snog. Gossip, gossip. Gasp. And lived on a different
Hey! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice one, Joan! That showed them useless Tory bastards! Yes, but they're not in point of fact here. Oh, I thought they were doing better than usual. Oi, heads up, fellas! Here they come now! Oh! Mm -hmm. oh Flippy Nora! Look at the teats on Ian Duncan Smith! Oh. You don't get many of them to the pound. They've been taking performance enhancing drugs. Could anyone else smell coconut oil? Oh. I'm not afraid of you lot. Come on, Baldy, hit me with your best shot. I've got abs of steel. Hi. Well. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Thanks for the card, Tony. That's OK. Now, Gordon, as you know, it's been a difficult two weeks. <laughs> In fact, my position has become untenable. Oh! Yes, Gordon. Your time has come. At last! I want you to be my wife. Ah! What? Do you think I'm that desperate to be a number ten? Ah! Uh, uh, oh! Tony, this is the least miserable day of my whole life. That's oh, mine! God, and you tight bugger, these are plastic! There we are, all done. Now, all we need is a B-list celebrity to turn the lights on. Will do. This tree is going to be a lovely surprise for Elton. I so totally hope he likes it. ta -da! Ah! That bitch of a tree is wearing my outfit. Never mind, love. <laughs> oh, I've shed. Now that's got to hurt. Good job it's not mistletoe. <laughs> How's the feeding going? Oh, she's been an absolute bugger. Now, come on. Here comes the singer into the Versace shop. Open wide. I give up. Ho, 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 I'm coming to town. Ooh. Oh, no, Trini, look what he's wearing. That's so last year, Susanna. Santa, darling, I don't know how to break this to you, but red is not your colour. That complexion is screaming out for pastels. Mm. Mm. Now, accessorise. Get rid of this horrid old sack and replace it with this much larger sack full of our books. Now, off you go. Not so fast, Rudolph. <gasps> Perfect. Mm. Mr. Hussein, we've found evidence of your germ warfare capability. Impossible! Take a look for yourself. Infect the West! Infect the West! Infect the West! Shh, guys. Plan B. I don't know what you are talking about. Check again. Love and peace. Peace and love. Oh, sorry, Mr. Hussein. Um, our mistake. It's just one of those 24-hour viruses. Oh. 
You see, Dad, I told you someone's been stealing my hair. Uh, but why? Who would want to do a thing like that? Morning, all! <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Once again, an enjoyable office party has been spoilt by the silly behaviour of one individual. Come on, own up. Who did this? I think we have our culprit. Ah, now, I've been looking for that. That's my latest response to the firefighters, actually, Tone. Oh, uh, oh, good work, John. <laughs> Darling, oh, what a night. <laughs> oh, you're insatiable. Competition time now. It's goal celebration of the month. Take your pick from these three beauties. Did you score two? No, I've just been kicked by Roy Keane! Thank you! Good night. Charles, how was the Lib Dem office party? I'll let you know when we've had it. Uh, Scott on the rocks? You certainly are. <laughs> that's it, that's f***ing enough. We've got too many f***ing cats and f***ing dogs. And... What's that pink fluffy thing? I'm your daughter. Oh, right, well, one of these f***ing pets has got to go. We can't get rid of Lola. She's like one of the f***ing family. Woof, f***ing woof. I see what you f***ing mean. Good girl. Um... We had some great times together. We were inseparable. I'm not sure that... I'd even recognise him now. George! Liver! Oh. Oh. How are you doing? Oh, you know. Hey, hey, uh, do you remember back in the 70s? Um, no. No, me neither. Uh, fancy a pint? Ah, go on then. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Behold the veritable treasure trove of Lord of the Rings merchandise. Potter! Not so fast, Gandalf. This Christmas belongs to me, Cassius Innes! That's more like it. I think not. No! Tuckus Crappus! Now look, everything's broken. Whoops! Oh, that's not supposed to happen until boxing day. <laughs> Hi, Timmy. Are you ready to have a pop at the Iraqis? I can't, Sid. I'm all clogged up. No one told me there'd be sand in the desert. I don't feel very well either, Sid. I've short circuited. <laughs> Never mind. I'll make do with trusty old Mike the Machine Gun. Sorry, Sid, I've melted. This has never happened to me before. Oh, well, lucky we sold Saddam all his equipment. Oh, useless British rubbish! There's no need for that. <laughs> Say, have you got the number for Bob the Builder? Oh, oh, oh. 
Ian, are the Conservatives not having an office party this year? Yes, this is it. Oh, come on, General, what is it? It's a book, ain't it? <laughs> now, no opening till tomorrow, sir. I promise. Okay. I love Christmas! <laughs> General, the flashy warning thing's gone off. General? General! Warning. Potential hostile inbound. Request action. Okay, George. Don't panic. Now, what is it Dad always used to say? Son, don't ever, ever, ever press the red button. Uh, something about pressing the red button. Ho, 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 Sir, what in God's name is... Can you smell roast venison? Oh. Look, General, I'm a lion. Move, move. That's uncanny, sir. Hmm. Oh, it's great to be back in Switzerland. Yeah, so beautiful. Let the buggers ban fox hunting in England. They won't spoil our fun. Release the fox. Oh, well done, Brooklyn. You finished opening all your presents from last Christmas. Now, this year, we've decided to give you just one present. Oh? Don't worry, it's the most expensive thing we could think of. Oh, wow! It's Ronaldo! Hola. Now, he costs 45 million quid, so make sure you don't... Ah. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, he's broke, Oh, honestly, David, bloody foreign rubbish. I told you we should have got in my little Owen. Hospital Radio Travel News. Bad news if you're en route to the operating theatre. There's a huge tailback with trolleys backing up as far as the orthopaedic ward. Outside casualty reports coming in of a nasty pileup, the result of, um, well, a nasty pileup, actually. And we're just hearing a bedpan has spilt its load near the transplant unit, so give that area a miss. And if you're passing surgery, watch out for the flying eye. I cannot overemphasize how important this matter is. John, do you mind? Oh, sorry, John. Bit peckish. Well, carry on. <sighs> right. The future of democracy is now at stake. Oh, I was no denying it. The chips are down. Mm. Chips. Oh, tasty. When I think of what they're doing, I scream with rage. <laughs> oh, it's if we're going to act, let us act now. Look, lettuce. What do you think, John? Uh, no lettuce for me, thanks. Um, I'm sorry. Come on, let's be having it. No, 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 John, John, stop it. Oh, get in there. <sighs> Not again. Well, this is it, eh, boss? The last ever brookie. Have you got something special lined up for us, or what? No, no, nothing special. Uh, just treat it like an ordinary run of the mill episode. And cue the lesbian dinosaur. I love you, Beth. All right, come Ed, we did this last week. <laughs> and that. And this and all. It's boring. Hmm? Hang on. A car with all four wheels. I've never seen that before. I I think we're gaining on him. <laughs> Yuri 
Lee Geller. Enter decontamination unit. going to say that. How are you doing? I'm just fine, but I have a slight uh, 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 <laughs> cold. Oh! oh. Jam a lot, jam a lot. A germ! There's a germ in my house! Help! Help! Oh! Oh! Uh, uh, evacuate the house! Children and llamas first! Michael! Michael is just a little germ. It's a living creature like you and me. Uh, uh, oh! Look, it's more scared than you are. Hey, he's cute. Germ, the two of us can now be friends. See, Michael, it's nothing to be afraid of. Yeah, you're right, Yuri. Oh, oh. Face oh. alert, face oh. alert, face oh. alert. Oh. set to I knew that was going to happen. Ooh. Dum -de -dum -de -dum. Ooh. Dum -de -dum -de -dum. <laughs> Hello, boss. All right. How did your anger therapy session go? It's good. I enjoyed it. I think it really helped. Same time next week, mate. <laughs> Well, to be frank, I I'm a little nervous. I'm not even sure if I'll recognize him. I mean, I haven't seen him for over 30 years. Neil! Moon! Oh. oh, how you been? Oh, fine, fine. How you been? Fine! <sighs> Say, have you still got my flag? Uh, no. No. You see much of, um, that other guy? Oh, you mean Buzz! A buzz! <laughs> yeah, no. 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 We're closing in. Almost got him. At least we're both all right here, Camilla. Camilla? Oh, mighty ruler of Iraq! What a great honor it is to be your decoy in case the evil West tries to kill you. Oh, no, surely I am your decoy. You're not the real Saddam. No, I'm a lookalike too. Oh, mighty ruler, what a privilege it would be to die in your place. Save it, buddy. It's not really him. So it's you, oh, mighty ruler? No, it's him. It's <gasps> not me. But it's certainly not him. Oh, what a ridiculous <laughs> mistake! <laughs> Actually, I am the real Saddam. <gasps> Just kidding. <gasps> no, I really am. <gasps> No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I am. <laughs> not really. <laughs> okay, which one of you is Saddam Hussein? It's him. 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 Fooled you? I'm not the real Bush. My dad is. <laughs> oh, Harry Moses. Mm. 